Hey everybody, Techie 101 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon White for the Nintendo DS. Last time we defeated the gym leader Chili with our awesome new water monkey thing that we got. I don't actually know if I'm going to keep that, but uh, yeah, it was uh, very interesting for a first gym. Like I said, they were kind of like holding your hand with it. They, like they gave you like, oh, your Pokemon aren't the right type for this, so I'm going to give you a Pokemon that is the right type for it. I mean, it just didn't really, you know, click with me, but... Uh, I don't know if I'm pretty sure all the other gyms are not like this. Maybe they're just trying something out for the new for the new layout for the new generation. But anyway, we walked out of the gym and we're immediately confronted by this lady or dude. I'm not really sure exactly what uh, what gender this person is. But uh, hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. All right. Okay, it's definitely a chick. I'm 99% sure it's a chick. But then again, you can never know. Alright, we're just going to go into some random person's house. You're going to meet all the Pokemon in Unival region, am I right? You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Unival region, am I... Wow, okay, yeah, there's what, like, uh, I don't know how many Pokemon are in the Unival region. I'm going to say, like, at least a hundred. So, that, that, that's kind of no pressure, right? <laughs> no freaking pressure. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, the stairs are right here. Okay, I don't remember asking for the stairs, but... My room is upstairs. Okay, so some strange woman just accosts me on the street and says, Hey, yeah, come back to this house. My room's upstairs. Go on. I'm like, dude, this game is rated G, but all right. I'm, uh, I'm all for that. Okay, this is, okay, interesting little machine you have hooked up to the bed there. Is that, is this going where I think it's going? Because if so... I'll throw my Pokemon out the window. I'll, I'll just I'll just stop the game right here. So like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. Okay, yeah, you're wearing a lab coat. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Okay, this is still probably going where I'm thinking. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. Oh, oh, okay, really? She asked me to help you guys. So, I'm giving you something to help you. This is the hidden machine for you. Matthews, okay, I'm the HM1. Okay, really? You, you drag me into your house, up to your bedroom. You know, told me about your, you know, your experiences with Professor Juniper while in college. I'm doing the air parenthesis thing right now, and all, all I get for this at the end of the date is an HMO1 cut. Oh, all right. Whatevs. There are some moves, yeah, blah, 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 tutorials for this. Okay, yes, I know what it does. I know what it does. Okay, there's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Stratheon City. Yes, I've already been there. That's where I got my water chimp at. I liked some of the dream mist that a Pokemon there comes up. Oh, right, because there was some, uh, of course, because there was, um, what's it called? The, the trees were there and we couldn't access it because it cut. All right, that was <laughs> certainly an interesting way to attain our HMO. Oh, that's cool. The camera kind of like auto corrected there. All right, that was an interesting way we could gain our uh, HMO1. You know, normally we just, you know, talk to some random person on the street, but they came up to us, so that's that's good. No, I don't want to learn HMO1. I mean, I don't want to learn uh, work up. Oh, I forgot to mention in the last video, though most of you probably already know this, a uh, big change in the new generation is that TMs are now be able, you can now learn TMs as many times as possible, so it's not a one hit, it's not a one move done thing. So, I mean, that I'm actually, that that's actually one of the few things I'm actually completely, I, I'm happy they finally got around to doing, because that was something that was always annoying in the earlier generations, especially since in most cases, like if you, you, you can buy a lot of TMs in the mall or in like certain uh, marts, so you can just get a TM, so there's really nothing stopping you from going to the mart and just buying another TM after you use the first one, so I mean, it's, it's something that's not completely impossible to do, so I'm glad they finally got rid of that little uh, interesting little tidbit there. All right, so I learned Cut from Excalibur, and I'm actually gonna switch, like what are, what are, what are my Pokemon levels at right now? All right, Lillipop is 12, 12, and 11. I don't know if I'm gonna keep Panpour, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch out Excalibur to be out front here if I can. There we go. All right, and I think I'm gonna go to a Pokemon Center because that weird lady had to accost me on the street and drag me back to her sex dungeon to do experiments on me. This place is officially more creepier than Rustboro. Yeah. I don't know. My mind instantly goes to the the sexual innuendos. I don't know. I guess that's just that's just my thing, I suppose. All right, off to the dream yard. Do 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 do. You know, normally when I play these games, uh, even with Emerald, I kind of go. I, I kind of play a little bit ahead first to see what I have to how I have in store. With this game, I'm really not doing that because I I really just want to see where where the adventure takes me. All right, so we got this tree here, and we will be able to use cut. Go Excalibur, flush. 
Oh, really? Can I not go anywhere in this freaking game without having to... Hi, Matthews. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon, too? Uh... I'm just really, really wondering how showing dreams works. Oh, wait. Is this gonna be... Wait a second. I know... Okay. I've heard of a thing called Dream World Abilities. I always assumed that was from a different game, though. I thought that was like a Mystery Dungeon type thing, or Pokemon Dream World. I thought that was like a separate game altogether. But if the Dream World Ability things tie into this game, that would make a lot more sense. Because I have no idea what those things are, but they're making such a big deal about dreams here. I'm mean, just saying. Hey, did you hear a sound coming from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go see. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't care anymore. Hey, look, it's a little thing. Moon, and it left. Oh wait, okay. It looks like a def it looks like a deflated Mew. Oh crap, Team Plasma. We found you, Muna. Come on, come on, make some dream mist. Okay, this is really getting. You guys are really getting me freaked out here. You're going up to a random Pokemon, you know, like getting up in its grill, saying, "Give me your mist." <laughs> all right, all right. Where's this going? Where are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? No, we're talking about the grass. We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. That's why we're, you know, forcing this poor little Muna thing to give us its Dream Mist. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharan emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show the dreams to manipulate their hearts. So you're basically Obito! That, that's that's the big bombshell of this game. You're Obito Uchiha, who's going to cast the infinite Tsukiyomi to force people into a fa into a false sense of peace, where it's like, yeah, um, you guys all believe you're happy and peaceful, but in reality, you're just a bunch of mindless slaves and controlling by our, you know, master, our master Geddes, who's the ma ma marionette here, the puppeteer here. Freaking... Did not call that shit, I will admit that much. Alright, I'm gonna beat your ass right now, just for making a comparison to Obito Uchiha. Bring it on! Bianca, you take the one on the- actually, you know what, I'll take both. Actually, I could do like a- I could do like a try battle right now, with just me, I should be able to take them down. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon- No, you're not! There's no way you could- you could conceivably look at that, it's like, we're battling for the freedom of Pokemon. That's why we're gonna force this Pokemon to give us its dream mist, so we can control the entire population. There is no way on that note that you can be seen as a good person. So on that note, we are going to rescue your Pokemon from you. Oh my god, now you're just accosting small children in broad daylight. Okay, you guys are terrible. Oh, cool intro though. It's like a, I, I like I like T's Plasma design. You know, I make fun of the guys, but they have a really cool knightish, you know, renaissance type deal. So I really like that kind of thing. Alright, Patrat. Alright, in typical Oh, I thought we were gonna do a double battle, but I guess in typical Pokemon fashion, we're just gonna break out one on a time. Patrat, huh? Well, let me cut your face off. Oh yeah. I just noticed I've been using the word accost a lot in this episode. I guess that's my word of the day. Bam. So I, that's it's, it's an interesting, interesting plot. I mean, interesting plot for a Pokemon game. It goes it goes above and beyond for a Pokemon game. You know, the whole uh, illusion thing, trying to control the population. But yeah, it's basically a ripoff of, of Naruto there. I want to use the move the growth. I do not want to learn the move growth. I want to keep old moves. You know what? It's kind of weird. We're kind of learning moves at a much faster rate. I mean, we're only level 13. And what, we've only learned, like, three extra moves already? We're supposed to. I mean, even even HML4, I mean, that would be four if you include cut. But, well, whatever. I'm next. All right. I love how Bianca's just standing there very politely. I can imagine she's just sitting there with that dorky expression on her face. Like, she's like our cheerleader. She's like, go, Matthias, go, Matthias, you can do it. And then, like, the she's just talking to the other Team Plasma member while we're fighting the one. And she's like, so how you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. You know, uh, so, you know, you joined Team Plasma long. Oh, well, you know, I joined up with, with uh, Geddes, you know, back last October. You know, I was working in a Starbucks, you know, wasn't making a lot of money, so he showed up one night, we traded stories a little bit, you know, which one thing led to another, and, you know, we, uh, we jo I joined up, you know, got this awesome little outfit, you know, uh, you know, it takes me a while to level up, I have to get the, uh, at least the bonus package in order to gain my, uh, plasma sword, but, you know, once I get up there, you know, the organization, it just really opens up opportunities for you, you know, we get discounts at the local McDonald's, what the fuck am I doing, this is Pokemon, kill the Perleon! There! Oh, jeez, I think I, like, lost my mind there for a second. Sorry, guys. 
Alright, back to the game. Alright, we took out these two dorks. I can't believe we lost! Yeah, I mean, you could have battled both of us at the same time. You might have had a better chance. But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Alright, so you're still- Oh my god! You're viciously hitting the damn thing! You calm down, guys! Oh, now what? Oh, hey, Tachi, what's up? What are you two doing goofing off? Oh, oh wait, what the okay. okay, it is Itachi! It's freaking Genjutsu! We Team Plasma shares shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. Okay, oh, what the- okay. Dude, if he's gonna break out the freaking Aizanami, I'm out. I'm making a lot of Pokemon- I'm making a lot of Naruto references in this video. This isn't Geddes when he is gathering followers, or Geddes when he is trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, you know, interesting thing here is that I would have been more- like, it, it's a very- like a conflict type thing where Team Plasma might actually be the good guys. Like there's a cool comparison there. Like you might you might be traveling on your Pokemon journey and at the very end you might find out, oh Team Plasma is actually the good guys and the real bad guys are this other group. But that is ruined when you basically have, like within the first hour of gameplay, have Team Plasma basically announce that they're evil. You know, like this this could have went a lot better if when they first introduced, we didn't really know about what their alliance was. I mean, they could have been the good guys, but right here, it's just they're blatantly evil. So, I mean, guys, you had a good, you had a chance for a plot here. You could have kept it ambiguous for a long time, and you maybe could have introduced, like, maybe N. Maybe it turned out, like, Team Plasma is actually the good guys, and N is actually the one that broke off of Team Plasma, and he's the real villain. So, like, that would be a really cool twist right there, but you're pretty much ruining it right now. Geddes is clearly evil. These Team Plasma guys are clearly douches. At any rate, let's hurry and say we have we have to forgive us. Okay, whatever. Wait, was that just an illusion the entire time? Okay, I'm guessing that's its evolved form. Shar! What was that just now? That person called Geddes appeared all over the place. And it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon. Oh. Hey, what's up, Fennel? <laughs> right for round two, babe. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Mushara? Mushnarna? I don't freaking know. Musha? Miri! Alright, it's gonna leave us a handy dandy little item. Did something happen? Yeah, it dropped an item. We well, see, Muno was here, but Team Pla- Oh, really? Just, let's leave the story, okay? Just leave the story. I think I followed that. Oh, really? See, Mushara involves from Muna, so seeing Muna is trouble. It used to make- It's used its power making dreams into reality to save Muna, which means- Wait a second. That must mean that this is the Dream Mist! Dun 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 dun! Alrighty. Phew, how random was that? Uh, on a random scale from 1 to 10, I'd say about uh, 72.6. Okay, so going back to the chick's house now. Great. That was, um, that was really weird, guys. I will admit that was not exactly what I'd expect in a Pokemon game. I mean, it used to be so straightforward. You know, you go from town to town, kick the crap out of the gym leader, get yourself an HM, uh, maybe talk to a, maybe have a little side quest there and there, have a Team Rocket fight, but... You know, this game's having something completely different. It's it's really uh, changing the gears around. So I'm enjoying it. I mean, I'm having fun making fun of it, but I'm also having fun just seeing where it's going because I have no freaking idea. Okay, quit hopping around. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dreamist, and now I can collect some save files of various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of my appreciation, please lie down on my bed and close your eyes. Let the machine do all the work. I will give you the C gear to use. The C gear is advice related to communications, such as inferior connection or... What happened? Or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Okay, kind of broke the fourth wall there, Fennel. <sighs> Matthews, tame the sea gear. Do, 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 do. Warning, please turn off sea gear in such places. Airport, airplanes, and hospitals. Oh my god, they are breaking the freaking fourth wall here. Is that okay? Sure. If you touch the power symbol. I'm not going to be able to... I'm probably not even going to be able to use this thing on the freaking uh, emulator anyway, so... Oh my god, this turned into a freaking emulator! You brought me up to your bedroom with your crazy weird machines with pumps and you just wanted to teach me a freaking tutorial. You know what, lady? I don't even care. What's this chick now? Okay, she seems kind of underage. Oh, trainer, thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is from me. Please take it. Don't be shy. Oh, is it going to be another... What is this? The Pal Pad. Okay, I know what the Pal Pad does. The Pal Pad is something else relatable to the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Come on. Can we skip through this? Please. Thank you. Jeez. Man. Wait, hold on a second. Can I skip out of this? 
Send the sea gear and establish communications. No, I do not want to do that. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. It's just, okay, it just changed the overlay screen. I see. All right, well, uh, that was an interesting episode. Uh, sorry for the overdose on the sexual jokes, but I don't know. That's just kind of the first thing that came to me. It was a very weird episode. All right, well, I don't know. I guess we're free to go wherever we want next episode. I was just, I was planning on this episode being the one where we head out over here to the next city or, you know, whatever, but I guess that didn't turn out the way it is. Hey, look, a bald man. Let's talk to him. Hey, Kaku, what's up? Study on gym later, no matter how I'm going to blah, 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 that I don't like. Well, that's not very nice of him. Well, maybe you should go catch another Pokemon. Like, you know, catch a water type and then use a grass type and then switch out for the water type when he uses the fire type. Maybe something like that. I don't know. All right, so anyway, thanks for watching my video, guys. Uh, Taking 101, signing out. See you next time.